Hey everyone, it's Greg Ivins here with Sold Out and I'm joined by After Funk at Clark Hall tonight. So uh, just to start off, like, how did you guys initially start off as a group? Uh, we kind of met along the way, you know. These two were paired off as roommates at university. And then I met them at a random coffee house at some other place. And then we met Phil along the way because... I played with yeah. Phil and other projects. Okay, nice. Yeah, it was a... Just kind of picked them up. Like, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like hitchhikers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a drifter? I, I was actually work, I was busy working in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just like, you, you could do so much. Hey, better. it looks like you might be able to play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> be able to be in a band. Yeah. It's <laughs> true good. So, uh, so following your tour, um, what do you guys have planned for the next months ahead? We're putting out a whole bunch of new content, music and videos, um, like singles leading up to an album in the fall. Cool. Going into the studio next weekend to record some songs and videos. Nice. It's awesome. Sweet. So uh, in early December, you guys performed at the Brooklyn Bowl. That's pretty insane. Uh, how how could you describe the experience of Brooklyn Bowl? They're, They're fried, fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous. It's all it's about the fried chicken. So like, I've never, <laughs> I, I didn't know. Like, so so for those who um, don't know anything about the Brooklyn Bowl, like, what what's what's the it's a really it's a really cool venue. They have Huge. yeah like a large uh, dance space, a nice stage, like and beside it they have. Bowling, a bowling alley, which is pretty. Dope. That's super cool. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty it's awesome. Pretty and then they have a restaurant with super nice food, so it's like a really big box of awesomeness. Like it's pretty great, and it's like split down the middle. So there's like the bowling alley on one side, and then the stage and the dance floor on the other side. So you could go bowling while wow, the it's still watch the show. You can still yeah. see it. That's so cool. And they put. They have cameras and put the band up on TV. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's unreal. So, uh, like, in, in touring and playing cities throughout the U.S. and Canada, um, how do you go about booking shows and, and promoting to guarantee that you have an audience? Um, I book all of our Canadian dates, and that's just done through, like, a growing network, I yeah. guess, that just develops. Um, we have an agent who handles our American bookings, and... In terms of promo, we use a lot of social media. Um, we have a mailing list. Street team. Yeah, mailing list. It's just kind of a combination. We rely a lot on word of mouth. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> what would you guys say as a touring artist is like the number one problem? Money. <laughs> Money. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, though. Honestly, yeah. Really? It's so hard to like keep a regular job when you are touring all the time. For and, sure. Like, and you don't, you know... 500 bucks for a gig may seem like a lot, but when there's four of us, you know, it's and real far away. You know, it's not, what, it's a hundred bucks a guy and then a hundred for gas and shit. Like, it does never, it never ends up like that. So it's, yeah, for and sure. even when we make a good money on it, like really good money on a gig, it evens out with all the, you know, all the not yeah. money that we make. <laughs> the yeah. expenses yeah. we have, and like, we're sinking like, <clears throat> so much money into a new album, you know, for sure. it's, yeah, it's, I, I teach a couple of days a week and then that money feeds me. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's kind of funny, like, uh, in, I was telling you guys about, like, interviewing Philip Lasseter the other day, and kind of something that he said was that um, it, in order to stay relevant, you need to produce content. And content isn't isn't necessarily a cheap thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that you need to consistently produce content, which costs money, but that content itself doesn't necessarily doesn't make, make its money. money. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. It's just like that becomes now like your advertisement, like your content. Yeah. It's just like how people get to know you, right? Yeah. And then potentially you could make money at shows. But For sure. Yeah. It's a it's a thing. It's a weird thing. Um, so you'd almost say like like music itself like releasing music is in, in itself like a promotional yeah it's technique. like the incentive to get people to the shows and yeah. to like buy your t-shirts and maybe like a CD or yeah. vinyl or a hat or yeah whatever. for sure it's way, way easier to get press if you have current content definitely for sure um, so last question um, do you guys think that 
like an application that would connect artists um, that are looking at touring to cities um, with other artists that are from said cities as well as those venues would be of value to a touring band? I think it depends on the level you're at. Like lower level bands, yes. But if you're just starting out, then yeah, I can see that being even like mid level bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's unless you're like at the top of the thing, like you know, like we're talking about building a community, which I think is important. One of the most important things that you can do as like a musician or you know whatever, you know, and like it definitely helps to know that there are other people out there that like it's easy to get to them. Who are like kind of doing the same thing that you're doing, yeah. you know what I mean? For sure. Which is, I think would be really sick. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that's that. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. That was Thanks awesome. For Looking forward to tonight's show. I'm Greg Ivan to Sold Out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Leaves are getting dry. You'll have to bleep out Justin's swear words. Wow. Wow. Are they too no, it's raw. Right. I didn't say any swear words today. <laughs> I didn't say any swear words. Are you sure? There was, was definitely a good, there was definitely a good in there. No, there wasn't. <laughs>